Hello Tubes, this is just a follow-up video to the parasitic drain test I had uh, did a previous video on. I found out what it was. Um, uh, since it was on the uh, 40 amp fuse there, that con I looked up online and it controlled um, a certain number, uh, number of fuses in the car. So I went through and pulled them one by one. Uh, and the radio was the one that dropped ha uh, f uh, dropped 50 milliamps, bringing it down to uh, 20 milliamps, which is okay when the car's off. So thinking about that, um, my uh, brother-in-law had installed something on it to allow uh, you to play something from like a like an iPod or an iPad or an iPhone uh, through the aux. He installed this on it. Um, this thing, whatever this is. Um, th uh, this thing. Well, thinking that that might be it, I went ahead and, uh, you know, disc uh, got, it was hooked into the back of the radio. So I went ahead and disconnected it from the radio and ran this test on it, and it was it, it dropped to uh, 20 mil uh, 20 milliamps when at uh, you know when the sitting. And I'm going to show you. And I've completely disconnected it and put it back fact the factory. Now here's what it shows now. Now when I do the uh, this this uh, parasitic drain test, I'm going to stick my multimeter. It's on amps and. Let me, uh, I'll cut in when I get it going. Okay, I've got it on amps. I'm about to do the parasitic drain uh, measurement here with my multimeter. There, 0.3, which is, you know, 30 milliamps. It's, it may even go down to 0.2. Yeah, there we go, back and forth. So now I'm getting this, it used to say 0.7. And 0 0.07, and even at one time 0 0.13, so 130 milliamps. But now it's down to this. So I think that's the parasitic drain now, and that's the resolution. Later tubes.